Hey guys, this is going to be another Unity 5 tutorial, and this is going to be a simple one about getting to your render settings. Now, render settings in Unity 4 were where you could change your skybox, your fog settings, and your ambient light, and so on. Now, in Unity 5, it's done slightly differently, so I'll quickly show you in Unity 4. This is Unity 4, it looks really similar. If we went to Edit, and then Render Settings, on this side we could tick fog, we could change the ambient light, we could add our own skybox material, but in Unity 5 you'll notice that if I go to edit there is no render settings anymore, there's still project settings and things but you might want to find out where that's gone. So the big thing is you go to window and then you go to lighting. Now I like to just add my lighting component over to this side so I can see everything going on. And now you, this is controls your sort of global illumination, your light baking, and all that sort of good stuff. Now, if you go to scene, you can see that the skybox is here, in under the environmental lighting setting. So you can see my skybox in my scene there. You can change the um, environment lighting, so you can add your directional light, which is going to be classed as your sun if you're doing an outdoor scene. You can choose your ambient source as the skybox, so it's our default skybox from here. Um, one other thing, like I said, is that you can add your fog if we enable fog, and we can change the values on there if we add objects in our scene for it to affect. So, render settings have sort of entirely moved to a lighting tab now to sort of consolidate all the different options that you can have for baking and the real time um, stuff for Unity 5. And also, they have some extra settings for dealing with other things. But that was just the base, so rendering settings have moved to the lighting options within the window and lighting. Just a quick mention that the ambient light is there and you can change that for the ambient intensity. And you can change the ambient sources to colour if you didn't want the real time sort of ref global illumination from the sky and such. So, thanks again for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.